Good day guys, Bing here. Today I'm going to quickly show you some um, exercise of Project North and True North. Okay, so let's start. So first I'm going to create create a project. So the first scenario is, so we're going to start a project, start to model a building um, on a site uh, which which we, we already know the title boundaries. Okay. So, um, so this is floor plan. So I'll just quickly uh, draw a title boundary. Use sketching. So, for example, uh, forty-five degree, ninety degree, go up here. So maybe I'll just draw a vertical one. So this is so to help us um, with the true north. Okay. So and okay. So for example, we have this site, and we already know this is this up is true north okay and we we need to model a building on this side so usually um, for example I'll just draw use a detail line to roughly draw a building so usually we will try to align um, oh sorry a parallel with a boundary to maximize maximize the the usage of the site and um, so when we start to model this, uh, of course we don't want to have a building on the angle. We always like to have the building facing um, the top of the page. So that's when uh, we need to set the project north. So currently, by default, the project north is the same uh, as as the the true north, right? So what we need to do. So it's very simple. So because we already have this one and we know that one of so this one so we want this one to go facing up so we just so we can just go to manage and with that project north uh, um, as the orientation we can go to a um, uh, position and use rotate project north and use this one so this is a easiest way so you don't need to know what the angle is you just need to pick a line and uh, so make sure that so for example this is the wall uh, that wall it will be facing the project north so I'll just pick this line and then you will see rabbit will uh, rotate this project north and so you will see it's actually facing the right of um, the page so which is not, still not right that's okay we can just go back to do it again and this time we use 90 degree so counterclockwise and then now the project north is up top of the page so which is correct and then if we change this to true north it will rotate it back so we'll see this one's true north okay so this is it so now we can just model the building so model the building in this view so it's much easier because we have this project also facing the top of the page instead of you know, 45 degree um okay so and still so um so floor plans floor plans um, um, roof plans we, we usually we use project north and and for side plan so so for example when we need to do some solo study you know and we need it's more it's um, it, it's more reasonable to use true north instead so see this north true north there so change this to true north so for something like solo study okay so floor plan side plan okay so now this is the first scenario so we start a project so we already know the title boundary okay so the second scenario is we start a project without a title so um let me just uh, close this one and we start a new one okay so this in this scenario the client uh, approached us to uh, design a building and he or she hasn't bought the site yet but we already designed a building something like this okay so this is the building so we have everything doors windows floors ceilings right and then um, uh, a few weeks later so the the, uh, the client give us a site he bought a site and then we try to 
put this building onto the site. So I'll quickly just draw a title boundary again. So, so for example, this is a title, or this is a site, this is a survey. And um, so this is our, so I just similar, just draw. Uh, okay, so this is our site. And then we need to fit this building onto this, okay? So we don't uh, rotate, do not rotate the building or do not move the building as well. We move the title. So for example, this one, um, I think I'll just use detail line. So imagine this is the shape of the building. I probably want to place the building like something like this, okay? So on the side. And then what we need to do is we just need to move, um, move roughly move the move the title, and also rotate the title, and just rotate the title to roughly where you want the building uh, to be, so with the proper setback. Okay, all good. And then when you can, so because currently it's still Project North, okay, and True North is the same so see it won't rotate so what we need to do now is instead because because the project north is correct it's top of the page right so this time we need to rotate project north okay and to rotate this we have two um, way to do it so one way is we can just rotate it use rotate true north Okay, you can just do this, this space or use this center of rotation place. So in this scenario. Um, okay, so this is the where I always uh, always uh, do it wrong. So I'm not sure it's, it should be from here to here or here to here. I'll just guess. Okay, so here to here. Yeah, I think that's correct. So now you will see true north is up up there so when you set to true north okay so if i tag this it's zero okay and if i change this to project north that's uh, correct okay so okay so i'll just change this back i'll just move back to i think move back to um i'm not sure which here i wanted to change the true north and yeah, so it's before we rotate the true north. And the other way is, so because we know that this is the direction of the project north, okay, so the direction of the wall, this is the true north, where the true north is, because we, when we draw it, we, we uh, intentionally <laughs> draw it that way. So we know that the angle between, uh, little, and we do a di dimension di, angle here to here is a 45 degree so we can we can also do it use so this is a floor plan by default the um, the project base point is not visible you can go vv and on the site and check the project base point so once you select this so you will see this angle to true north so you can type in an angle i think it's 45 degree and now if you go back to change this to true north, then you will see that's it. Okay, so this is another way to do it. Instead of rotate, we can just type in an angle between true north and um, project north. Okay, so let's um, go back again. Um, where here? Project North, True North, yeah, great. So I think um, I want to try another one because I just noticed, I noticed that, um, where is it? Locate, location. Under location, not here, site. Under location, here, angle from Project North to True North, oh, it's gray out. Um, site, site default and uh, the duplicate rename angle from project north to true north. Um, it looks like it's gray out. 
Okay, so let's just leave it for now because I'm not sure how. Oh, that's zero three degree. How do I know that? How do we know that? Oh, that's probably average. Anyway, let's uh, ignore. Let's ignore that. Okay. So okay, so this is the second scenario. The third scenario is rotate an existing project. So which means uh, actually I forgot. Um, I should, I should say rotate a, um, after we rot, uh, set the project north and sometimes we need to so maybe I'll just change the true north first so okay so good so this is true north and this is project north so and also I want to adjust this title block a little bit so just create this scenarios okay so uh, a week later, the clients um, asked ask us to, OK, so he or she wants to rotate this building to instead of a line uh, parallel to this boundary, uh, he or she wants to parallel to rotate this building so it's parallel to this boundary. So how can we do that? We already have this project north and true north already set, right? So, uh, <clears throat> so now what we need to do is we, <coughs> excuse me. So we just need to figure out, uh, yeah, parallel. So, uh, that's fine. I'll just draw a line. I'll, I'll just, I'll just draw. I'll just draw a detail line <coughs> and move it to this point S E good so now from here you can figure out the angle between between oh so it's seven degree okay so it's seven degree so which means we are not going to rotate the building okay the building stays where it is we rotate the tidal boundary as well as the true north. So how can we do it? So let's do it. So first we change this to true north, okay? And then go uh, rotation. So true, rotate true north. I'm going to just use use a space and pick this point, pick exactly this corner point, and okay, which which way, which one first? I'm not sure, I'll just guess. Okay, so from here to here. Um, is it correct? No, it's not. Because after we did, after we uh, rotate the true north, we still need to rotate the tidal boundary. So you will see if I rotate this tidal boundary to a, long, a, a, a parallel with this wall, the true, this edge will go even further. So it won't be vertical. So which is wrong. Uh, control Z, we need to rotate the other direction. So go back again, so position, rotate to north, space, pick exactly this corner point, and pick the face of this wall, and pick this line. And now, if I, so you will see it will go this way, and then I can just rotate R, O, space, pick this, and pick this, and go up a seven degree. So now this wall and the tidal boundary are parallel, so you can dimension it. And also this one, it's vertical. So correct. So now true north and project north. Okay. So okay. So finally, let's let's re <laughs> let's go back and try the. Um, Try the uh, angles. Try the project base point method. Okay, so let me just ch check. True north correct. Project north correct. So now, how can we do this? So go click on this one. 45 degree. We just need to. Uh, I'm not sure. Should uh, whether plus seven or minus seven. Let's try equals 45 
plus seven and change now let, let's change it to true north and yeah correct so we just need to rotate this title boundary again by seven degrees and then everything's correct so true north and project north okay so so remember project north is always the top of the page and usually you always try to uh, um, align your wall so at least facing uh, the project the top of the page and um, I think that's it um, if yeah it I know it's very confusing even after um, I start I start to use Revit in probably 2020 uh, 14, so it's probably seven years eight after so many years sometimes I just still uh, just uh, confuse a, a little bit so don't worry too much so usually take like four or five years to really understand but yeah um, anyway if you have any questions please let me know um, I'll see you next time thank you bye